Hey Queens, this is Coach Donia with Coco Queens Fitness here with a Hi, queen. <laughs> workout routine for today. Hi, queen. Yeah, come say hi Queens. Come on over here, DJ. Come on, over here, over here, over here. Come here, come here, come here. Say hi Queens. Hi Queens. <laughs> so for today's workout, as far as equipment, you're just going to need a short length. Excuse me, DJ. Thank you. A short length, either medium or heavy resistance resistance band, and a pair of dumbbells. Yoga mat is completely optional. You just need some floor. First things first, here is the warm up. I mean the warm up. Here is the entire workout. Take a moment to look it over, write it down. What we're gonna be doing for our warm up is three sets of each movement. So we have banded knee raises. We're gonna be using our resistance band. A plank to lunge to reach, AKA the world's greatest stretch. And then I'm putting in something from my yoga teacher training, um, Utkatasana sweeps or chair pose sweeps. And I'll show you guys what those look like. As far as the work we're going to be doing for set A, we have a narrow stance goblet squat, four sets of 11, superset with a kneeling dumbbell hammer curl, four sets of 11. For set B, we have weighted curtsy lunges, four sets of 12, overhead suitcase marches, four by 20 steps total. Uh, for set C, weighted butterfly sit-ups, four by 11, and then banded clamshells, four by 15. For our cool down, we're gonna be doing three dynamic movements. The first is a 90-90 fold and twist, 10 on each side. The second is either a caustic squat or a lateral lunge, depending on your level of mobility and comfort. And the third is a thread the needle to reach, 10 by each, 10 on each side. So let's begin with our warm up, which is our banded knee raises. Now I'm gonna use my little moppy thing to help keep me stable and the reason why i'm using this yeah look at that the reason why i'm using this is because i need to keep my hips square so i'm going to put the band around my feet around the middle of my feet it should be a little bit farther back than the ball of my feet i'm going to place my feet hip width distance apart and i'm going to lift my knee as high as i can while keeping my hips square Shift the weight, lift again, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Fight the urge for your foot to just slam back down as you lower it with a, with a band around your foot. And while you're doing this, You'll probably feel your glute firing up. You should feel your core being engaged. This is a great way to warm up sort of this mid area as well as the stabilizer, stabilizer muscles within our body. Second movement is plank to lunge to reach. Wait, hold on, Papa, let's put these over here. So, excuse me, Scoot. Scooty Scoot, you wanna come over to your mat? Okay, get the purple mat. Go get it. Come to your the floor for a plank position. Bring one foot up outside of your foot. And whichever foot you have forward, lift that hand up off the floor and reach up to the sky. Bring your palm back down, foot back. Repeat on the other side. And that's two. If bringing your foot this far up isn't quite available to you, Come into a kneeling position, same thing. Palm down, foot back, knee forward as far as you can. If that's here, that's okay. If that's here, that works too. Reach up and twist, that's four. Let's continue. Foot forward, hand up for five, hand down, foot back. Foot forward, hand up for six, hand down, foot back. Foot forward, hand up for seven, hand down, foot back. Foot forward, hand up for eight, hand down, foot back. Foot, hand, hand, foot, last one, foot, hand, hand, foot. Beautiful. And for the last one, come to standing for our last uh, movement for Utkatasana sweeps. Feet, hips width distance apart, bend your knees. This depth can be as 
shallow or deep as you like, completely dependent upon you. Make sure you sit your hips back just as if you're coming into a squat. Keep your pelvis in a tucked position. Well, actually it should be in neutral. Shouldn't be posterior tilted, or excuse me, yeah, posteriorly tilted. It should be neutral. Low back should be nice and safe. From here, bring your hands straight up wherever your mobility leaves you and gazes forward. You're going to sweep your arms back, come up onto your toes, slightly lean forward. Heels come down, arms come up and reverse. Heels come up, arms go back, four, back, six, back, eight, back, 10. Beautiful. You should feel the engagement in your quads, in your calves, and it's gonna build some heat in your entire body. So let's do that all over again. Put the band back around your feet. Feet, hips width distance apart. Grab something for support or not. If you don't, just place your hands on your hips. Just be very mindful when you are shifting your weight that you're not leaning over to one side. You really wanna stabilize your core so that when you get your knee up, woo, up, your hips are square. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Back to the floor, world's greatest stretch. Plank, foot, hand, foot, two, and foot, three, back, foot, four, back, foot, five. And if you're doing this at a slower pace, that's totally okay. This is your workout, do as you need to. Back, up, six I think is the number I was on. <laughs> back, up, seven, back, up, eight, back, up, nine, back, up, 10. Last but not least, we have our chair pose sweeps. Come to chair pose. It's just like a minimal squat. Arms up, arm sweep back, Woo! up to toes. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Last round. Grab that band. Place it around your foot. If you need a moment to grab some water, feel free to do so. All right. One, two. And what might help here as well is to slightly externally rotate your feet just a little bit. You can bring your feet a little bit closer together. That might help you balance as you shift your weight over to one foot if you don't wanna use something for support. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, world's greatest stretch. Back to plank position. Foot up, one, back, foot up, two, back, foot up, three, back, foot up, four, back, foot up, five, back, foot up, six, back, foot up, seven, back, foot up, eight, back, Foot up, nine, back, foot up, 10, back. All right, last sweeps. Position your feet, bend your knees, arms up. One, two, three, four, engage that core. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Yes. Shake it off. Grab a sip of water. Narrow stance goblet squats are first. I'm currently working on my ankle mobility, so I'm gonna fold up my mat so that I have a little bit of elevation, probably a little more than that, underneath my heels. And that's gonna help allow me to get into my narrow stance. That's not enough either. Let me roll this up. I'm gonna place a block behind here so it doesn't come unrolled. And my super set for that is a kneeling dumbbell hammer curl. And I'm gonna curl with both arms. So I'm going to begin with my narrow stance. So this just means, doesn't mean that your feet have to touch, but normally my squat would be a little bit wider than shoulder or hips width distance apart for my feet. So I'm placing my feet about two to three inches apart. All right, and as I lower, I wanna keep my dumbbell in line with the side of my foot. Stand up straight, squeeze my glutes at the top. Two, I'm doing 11, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Beautiful. Come down to a kneeling position. If you know your knees are tender, grab some pillows or an additional mat to place under your knees. We're doing kneeling dumbbell hammer curls. Kneeling here, I'm going to tuck my toes for some extra stability. One, hammer curl, the side of the dumbbell comes to your shoulder. Instead of the dumbbell being faced a uh, long ways towards the room, the long side of the dumbbell is gonna face the side of your body. Two, do your best. Three, not to rock. Don't use momentum to get those dumbbells up. Be solid, be strong. Three, four, going for 11, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. Mm -mm. We're not using that right now, Papa. You can use that in your room. Take a quick break. Grab a sip of water. All right, queens, here we go. Make sure you're breathing. Set number two of four. Ready? Lower. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, down to kneeling. All right, remember, no rocking. One, two, stay strong. Three, four, five, six, halfway there. Seven, eight, nine, we got it. 10, 11, beautiful. Take a quick breather. Minimizing rest is gonna keep our heart rate up, but if you feel yourself getting lightheaded, feeling nauseous, take a longer break. This is your workout. Maybe you have to work up to taking shorter breaks. That's totally fine. Ain't no shame there. Plus we can't see you. 
do what you got to do. <laughs> All right. Set number three out of four. All right. Ready? And lower. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. All right. Down to our curls. <sighs> Hips forward. Core strong, core stable. Let's go. One, two, stay strong. Three, four, remember you're breathing. Five, six, seven, eight. Almost there. Nine, 10, last one. 11. Okay, as you break here, I forgot to mention. Once again, your squats are your squats. If you're recovering, you need to make your squat a little bit uh, less deep, that's totally okay. Once again, I'm not judging anybody. <laughs> your squat is your squat. If your depth looks deeper, sweet. If your depth isn't as deep, <laughs> sweet. Once again, this is your workout. Go ahead, Papa. Uh-oh. All right, last one, last set. Now, this is usually the set in which the form begins to deteriorate. If that's the case, if you feel yourself slipping, being sloppy, move slower. Challenge yourself to have better form instead of completing the set quickly, all right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, Six, halfway through. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Beautiful. Last one for our curls. Woo. All right. Hips forward, core engaged. Let's go. One, two, no swinging. Three, no swing. Four, Five, six, remember your breath. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Pull this out. And if y'all notice that you need some elevation but you don't have a mat to roll up, you need a shoe. Roll up magazine, books, anything really. Anything that's gonna elevate your heels. Or you could wear, wear shoes with elevated heels like weightlifting shoes or most shoes have elevated heels anyway. So next we have our weighted curtsy lunges, four by 12, and our overhead suitcase marches. So curtsy lunge. Ooh. Let me go over this way a little bit. All right. Feet, hips width distance apart. I'm gonna lift my left foot, place it behind and outside of my right foot and lunge. Now, as I did that, I felt my left knee touch the back of my right calf. So that means I'm gonna move my foot a little bit farther back and then lunge. Beautiful. Switch sides, return to start. Right foot behind and outside of left foot and lunge for two. Here we go. Three, four, move this way. Five, six, going for 12, seven, four more than halfway through, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. Now, Suitcase marches. That means I only need one weight. 
Feet hip width distance apart. Weight straight overhead. Other hand on my waist. I'm taking 20 steps. Remember, when we have a weight overhead, that's naturally going to engage our abdominal muscles. And since we only have it on one side, our tendency is to lean to the opposite side to compensate. Keep that arm strong. If this is too much for your shoulder, bring it down, okay? Do what works best for you. Maybe this weight is a little bit too much and you don't have another dumbbell. Bring it down and rest it on your deltoid, the muscles here that cap your shoulder, all right? So we're taking 20 steps. Ready? One, two, three, four. Get those knees high. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, knees high, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Phenomenal. And when you're in that position, lengthen your spine the entire time. Try not to wobble, try not to compensate in any other kind of way. Keep your posture square, tall, think long. Okay, and once again, even if halfway through that weight gets a little heavy, just bring it down to rest on top of your shoulder, okay? Let's take a couple more seconds. <sighs> Curtsy lunges, let's go. Grab both your dumbbells. One, foot back and over. Two, three, four, five, halfway through, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ooh, twelve. Beautiful. Now I'm going to switch sides for my um, suitcase march. So I'm going to do my left, left hand. I like to bring my right arm out. I felt as though my uh, hand was in, in the way of my hip. So here we go. Tall, long, strong. One, two, three, knees high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway through, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Quick rest. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're drinking water if we need it. But most importantly, make sure you're breathing. <laughs> if you're breathing is shallow, you're gonna feel like you're gonna pass out. You're gonna get lightheaded. Your uh, brain's not getting enough oxygen. So take a few deep breaths. Not necessarily to slow your heart rate down, heart rate down, but just to get more in control of your breathing. All right, set three out of four. Curtsy lunges, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway through, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now I'm gonna go back to my right hand for my suitcase marches. Whew. Here we go, long, tall, strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway through, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Whew. One more set, y'all. Remember, this is where it counts the most. Mentally, we hear last set and we're like, all right, we just gotta get it done by any means necessary. Slow down, control your breathing, be in control of your movement. The worst thing you can do is have a misstep because you're fatigued, right? Step too narrow on your curtsy lunge or step on something in your march, slip and fall, no. So, Slow it down. Quality over speed, okay? 
All right, last set, curtsy lunges. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway through, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, back to my left side for my marches. Long, tall, strong. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway through, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go on, Papa. All right, y'all. This last one, we're going to need our resistance band and one dumbbell. Let me get my son right real quick. All right, queens, we're back. So now we have our weighted butterfly sit up and our banded clamshells. For our weighted butterfly sit up, grab the sides of your dumbbell, one in each hand. Bring the soles of your feet together. Doesn't matter how close your heels are to your, uh, to your crotch and lay down. So from here, just allow your knees to do their thing. If they're super high, that's okay. If they're a little closer to the ground, that's okay too. Weight stays up the entire time. Lift up for one and we're doing 11, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, put that dumbbell to the side, grab your band, put it all the way up above your knees. Okay. Lie on one side, bring the uh, insides of your feet together. Go this way, oh. All right? Insides of your feet together and lift only your knee. So your, the sides, insides of your feet should stay connected. One, lift, uh, open up as much as you can. Two, three, four, five, Six, I believe we're doing 15, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my gosh. Okay, I hope you guys could see me when I did that first set. Let me scoot this way. All right, take a quick breather. Reestablish control of your breath. And for the clamshell for the next one, we're gonna switch legs. So then I'll have my uh, left leg on top for the next set, okay? I'll go ahead and get your dumbbell. Lay back down. All right, queens, here we go for 11. Remember the dumbbell stays up, stay safe. And here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dumbbell down. Resistance band up, right above your knees. I need to switch sides so that now my left leg is on top. So now I'm leaning on my right side. All right, sides of my feet together. And here we go. One, two, 
three, four, five, woo, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh my goodness. Oh, get those hips strong. We got two more sets to go. Take a quick breather. Gain control of your breathing again. Maybe take a few deep breaths. If you need to take more rest than me, that's totally fine. This is your workout, okay? When you're ready, lay back down, dumbbell up for our third set of weighted sit-ups, weighted butterfly sit-ups. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Woo! Trying to figure out why I keep scooting that way. All right. Here we go. Banded clamshells. This time with your other leg on top. So I started with my right, and now I'm back with my right leg on top, leaning on my left side. Here we go. 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halfway there. Nine. 10, stay strong. 11, 12, keep going. 13, 14, and 15. Man, those burn. Okay. All right. Here's our last set. Remember what we say quality over speed. Let's go here. Take a moment, gather your breath. Give yourself a little motivation, a little, pep, a little pep talk, a little slappy slap. <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> Last set. Quality over speed. When you're ready, lay back down, dumbbell goes up for our last 11. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, my back is farting. <laughs> Four. Six, halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Last one. Eleven. Oh, okay. Dumbbell can go bye bye. Scoot on over there. Okay. Last one. Clam shells. My left leg is on top. So I just did my right. Make sure you're switching sides. Really, really great exercise for strengthening your hip um, abductors. Muscles that pull your hips apart, not the ones that bring them together. All right. Here we go. 15. Last one. Quality over speed. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway there. Nine, ten. Five more. Eleven. Don't stop. Twelve. You got this. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Whew. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. Take a moment. Take a few deep breaths before moving to our cool down. Sit in a position that's comfortable for you for a moment. Okay, once you feel centered again, I'm gonna come to a 90-90 position. So, chin 
of one leg parallel to the front of your mat or just to your uh, wherever you are <laughs> and thigh of your other leg parallel to your shin shin of your opposite leg should be parallel or perpendicular to your other shin so we should have a 90 degree angle here 90 degree angle here 90 degree angle here it's not perfect 90 that's totally okay if you need to adjust because this is really uncomfortable do what you need to do that might mean bringing this foot forward or um closer in that might be mean bringing this foot closer in that's okay do your best to get as close to 90 as you can bring both hands off of the floor lean forward over your front leg <sighs> inhale up twist towards the back of the room or twist towards your uh, opposite hip and inhale exhale fold forward Inhale, up and twist. Four. Up and twist. Exhale for five. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for six. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for seven. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for eight. Inhale up and twist. Exhale for nine. Inhale up and twist. Last one on this side. Exhale for 10. Inhale up and twist. Now, however way you'd like to, switch sides. Take a moment, settle in. See what feels good, see what doesn't. If it doesn't feel good, make some adjustments. Okay, hands up, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, up and twist. Exhale, fold, inhale, up and twist. Exhale for three, inhale, up and twist. Exhale for four. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for five. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for six. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for seven. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for eight. Almost done. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for nine. Inhale, up and twist. Exhale for 10. Inhale, up and twist. Bring your legs out straight. Shake them out. <laughs> Whatever that looks like for you. All right, next we're moving on to either lateral lunges or Cossack squats. Depends on which you'd like to do. Ooh. Go ahead and stand up, come up slowly. Feet. Eh wider than the hips with distance apart, which you may have to make adjustments here once you get moving. If you'd like to do a lateral lunge, you may point your toes slightly out, actually for each movement, point your toes slightly out. Hands, wherever you'd like, out front, fold it to your chest, palms together, and lean, and bend your, whichever knee you like. So I'm bending my right knee, if your knee comes over your toe, that's totally okay. Come back up to center, lean the opposite way, and bend your left knee. <laughs> Come back to center, and repeat that a total of 10, side, 10 times to, yeah, to do five on each side. If you'd like to do a Cossack squat, that just means you're gonna get a little bit deeper, but it actually means for me personally that I'm gonna have to come up onto the toe of the foot that I'm leaning on. So that would be one of these. And I would do my best to bring my hands up. And then without bringing my hands back down, shifting my weight to my other leg. Palms need to come down, that's totally okay. Goal here is to get some stretch in this hamstring here, as well as a little bit in this hip. If you'd like to keep your palms down and do classic squats, that's totally okay. Whichever works for you. So I'm here. 
If y'all have been doing it this whole time, you're probably on like number five. So let's say this is six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. And the last one. I don't remember. Come back up to standing slowly. Oh, our last one is thread the needle. So actually you don't have to come back to standing. We can come to a tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. Toes can be tucked or untucked. I prefer tucked. Inhale, we're gonna bring one hand, excuse my left hand up towards the sky. Exhale, thread that arm through the hole in your body, all the way down, bring that left shoulder down. Inhale, all the way up, reverse. Exhale, all the way back through. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, thread for three. Inhale, thread for four. Inhale, last one, thread for five. Take a moment here. Take a few deep breaths. You may extend your opposite hand out towards the top of your mat. Return your opposite hand where it was to help lift you up and bring both hands next to each other once more. Now switch sides. Inhale, my right arm comes up. Exhale and thread. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, thread, right shoulder comes to the mat. Inhale, right hand all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, thread, right shoulder comes down. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, up, exhale, thread, and hold. Just for a few breaths. Or if this is uncomfortable, then don't hold. It's no problem. All right, slowly unwind back to your tabletop position. And we are done. Thank you all for joining me today. Questions, comments, um, corrections, suggestions, anything you'd like, put them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Have a phenomenal day. And for everything, remember that quality is better than speed. <laughs>